what is going on guys welcome back to another video today we are going to be taking a look at what would happen if the earth had 10 moons or multiple moons so let's get straight into it by going power no we want to double tap on here or is it right click it's right click and go add moons to orbit which is our moon over here and we want to go ahead and go add can we go add moons multiple times? No, it doesn't seem like we can. We'll go manually add more of our moons. Yes, we are going to be using the same sized moon. So we've got six, seven. We'll do different distances away from the Earth. So this makes four, five, perfect, ten moons. Let's see what happens. I'm expecting that some collisions will occur so let's go ahead take off our information just for now and see the show so i am again expecting collisions to occur with maybe even the earth and the moon that is a possibility because all these moons are influencing each other so the paths won't be perfect around the planet so this one's getting quite close to this moon and the earth itself wait Wait, 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 wait. I'm expecting these two to collide now. Yes, yes, it is going to collide. They're going to collide. It looks like they're going to collide. I think they are. Wait, there's been a collision over this moon already. Interesting. Didn't even see that one. It was that hot spot. It seems like this moon here is tracking this moon here. That's quite creepy. The moons are stalking each other. And it seems like, no, they're not going to collide just yet. Interesting. I was expecting them to collide. It seems like it was very close. Wait, this one, this moon's getting quite close to the Earth. So there should be some tidal forces that's starting to affect it. Any? Any at all? Doesn't look like it. I was expecting, oh, Shadow's of course casting on the earth a bit more I'd say more eclipses of course there will be a dramatic increase in earthquake type of activity on the planet due to tidal forces of all these moons ripping it away oh, you're kidding me I always miss the collisions so we've got one two three four five six seven eight one's missing so there's already been a collision that we've missed Obviously, this is a big collision, so a moon has collided with another moon. And it looks like the gravitational pull is not strong enough to suck these fragments away from the moon. But it looks like it's changed the direction it's going in, and it looks like it's bit up. So there's a possibility that this could influence the other moons to track by it and cause a collision with the Earth. So again, we just randomized moons here, and we are... I'm curious to see if this is actually going to be a long-term effect. Maybe it will be stable enough to sustain the orbit. Maybe. Let's speed it up a bit. This is getting a bit dull here. So it seems like everything's okay. Just a few collisions I'm expecting to have. Oh wait, I feel like this one's getting close again. This happened last time though. Oh close there as well oh, I'm, I'm hoping I'm not gonna miss another collision I'm just watching these these two are getting quite close too I'm like damn there might be a collision here so is it in a minute it looks as if now those two could collide wait 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 no no they're not colliding just yet so it seems like it's quite a sustainable orbit that's interesting. It really is interesting to me. I was expecting the gravitational pull to be all screwed up, but it seems like the Earth could sustain. Wait. Look at this. Getting close to getting close to getting close to getting close. Yep, there's going to be a collision right here, right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slow down the, the simulation time and let's look at this collision. It's going to be a beautiful one by the looks of it. So from Earth, it, it looks as if this is the one that actually had a collision already. Damn, this one's getting bombarded. You can tell with the difference in size. 
and the craters difference. Okay. Oh, 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 oh my god, holy god damn it, Rooney, that was a close collision, guys. Turns out they didn't collide, but my god, did I miss anything else? Damn, that was amazing. That was so close to a collision, that was not even funny. Of course, it's impacted the moon because of the gravitational pull and tidal forces. Oh, wait. Seems like this one's getting quite close. Wait, wait, wait. Quite interesting. So this one's lagging behind a bit, so maybe the gravitational pull will pull it towards it a bit stronger. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, moving you orbit between a moon and a moon. That would be cool. The moon has a moon. Maybe not. I'd say this will collide within the next path, because since we've seen that collision, I'm expecting that there's going to be another near collision with these two moons. Maybe. Oh wait. Yep. We'll zoom back up on here, see what happens. Oh, wait. It, it's close again, so I'll just minimize the simulation time and see what happens again. Wait, yep, this is going to be a collision, guys. We've got a collision. So the first time it didn't collide. And now this one's colliding with the moon. And yet again, it's that big moon gaining all that mass. Of course, this would be visible from Earth. Very visible. It looks quite far away, but in fact, it is not. I think to us it would look like a bright explosion just coming from space. That would fill up the nighttime sky. Okay, let's see what happens long term. Is there going to be more collisions? I'd say so, since this is getting... Wait, 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 wait. This might be the big one. This might be the big one. Where, where is... This going to be the big one, guys. Damn it. I'll just... Here where it is. This is the big one. It looks like this is going to be the collision with the Earth that we've been looking for, guys. It looks like this impact has caused the earth to have a collision course with one of the moons this is the long-term effect that i've been waiting for for the simulation okay okay damn it's gonna hit the pacific it's gonna hit the united states i'm just gonna pause it for a second oh damn it's gonna hit oh it's gonna be so close oh my god damn it is a collision just looks like it nearly it nearly passed the planets so close oh my god this one of the worst oh my god it's actually going from an angle damn 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 life on earth is dead now so this moon had two collisions and then it collides with the earth that was a perfect collision with that other moon that set it up for this huge collision with the planets damn that was huge and it looks like there's a fragment left over from it but how's this going to affect all the other moons i mean we've got four five seven yep that's about right seven moons left two some have been eliminated so since the moon has collided with the earth i'm saying there's going to be more moon collisions so we'll see with the simulation if there's going to be any more of course we'd have to see a setup i'd say because this is enough time to adjust to the new orbit i'd say so of course all plant life on the planet would be dead from this collision but we're looking in the scientific physics of this collision not would life die out type of thing so it looks like we are safe from more collisions with the moon unless a path dramatically changes and it looks like we've actually got a more stable ground of movement now with the moons and it looks as if wait wait you're kidding me right you are kidding me you are bloody kidding me i missed another collision i missed yet another collision Damn, having these simulations too fast. Oh my god. It looks as if it set up the planet for another collision. Oh no, not too fast. It's not too angled. 
It looks as if it's knocked it a bit off path, so maybe it, there will be a collision later on. But now we've got six moons left. Six? Yeah, six. I'd say this one out here is the survivor. Oh, look, there's actually two out here. Is this? This might be a collision. Oh, there was actually two out here. So we've more got like, yeah, six. Yeah, six. I thought I miscounted. My bad. Um, how's Earth doing from that collision earlier on? Still dry as day, but water's coming back, so... OBS DELETE! OBS DELETE! Adding nine more moons has caused a extinction event. And two moon collisions that we, we got to view before the Earth collided with a moon. And it looks as if the possibilities for another collision with another moon is declining as the moons are actually getting further and further away from each other. I'm just trying to track any collisions that could happen. Yeah, there's another collision there that could happen. Let's see. Yeah. So close. It's a close, I'd say a close call. Having the simulation very fast actually causes inaccurate simulations. So I could say that we could expect another close call or a collision with the other moon, with that moon. So that's quite interesting to see. So we would have to see a similar approach to one another. And it looks like this might be a hazard here. Well, here's another one. It looks like this one's way Wait, wait, this one's gonna be... Damn, that moon's the closest. So they get close to each other and then they repel each other. It's quite interesting, really. Whoa, very close. So this might have a collision. So this is the Earth. This is, this is what we had to watch for. So it looks like this moon is actually... It, comes to collide with each other very rarely. It looks like this swing is close and then it orbits out. But then this is a faster orbitation. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. So it looks like the chances of a collision has faded away. Wait. Yeah, it's... Ah, oh, wait. Damn. So here's another. Damn, they get very close to each other though. Maybe if I did the approach from a more realistic speed, see what happens. And it looks as if they get bloody close to one another. I mean, they're still dragging towards each other. But I think the fact is the different elevation type of levels like XYZ so it seems like the chances of another collision is kind of ruled out for these two moons which means that maybe the earth could survive for four or five moons this moon is actually quite far away I think it's actually got its own orbit with the Sun now yeah it looks like it so that's quite interesting to see so two moons, two moons, no explosions. We had three collisions, one being with the a moon and the earth. Now for fun, to finish off the video, let's go ahead and let's explode all these moons with the explosion tool. Pretty simple stuff. You just hit the explosion, 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 explosion. Explosion, explosion. Let's try it. Let's see what happens, should we? So this is 4.28 days, so that's a pretty fast simulation. Let's let's do it like this. Whoa! Imagine seeing that from Earth. Actually, we can. We just have to go see. And we should be able to have a look at what would it would look like. There's the sun. Light hitting us. Here is the moons 
they're not coming up because they're exploding, I guess. Ah, they're gone. So the explosion tool actually has it done very quickly. Okay, to finish off the video, let's go ahead and go power and make our own earth explode. Bam. Whoa, that was bigger than what I thought. Holy God, that, that was huge. It was like a very, damn, that's cool. It seems like they've changed the animation for a explosion. And just for fun, let's go explosion energy, one million. Boom. Supernova. Within minutes, terrorizing everything. Temperatures rising everywhere. Within minutes, it reaches the Earth's orbit. And of course we would have been dead. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe for more content. Twitter and Instagram links are in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one.